Let's go! Dear Princess Celestia, here's what I learned today. Come on down to the old library, where just happens to be a big tree. Inside you'll find books of all kind of that I can guarantee. Everything is so tidy and neat. Every bookshelf is stocked and complete. Spike writes down her thoughts, but only with lots of easy words, cause he's dumb. If you've seen all the books that she's read, you'd agree that she is an egghead. She never had friends, just thinking pens, spent time studying instead. She thought it would all go downhill, when she was sent to Ponyville. These crazy mares made her theirs, and now she's stuck, they're insane. Every single day, they drive her up the wall. She can never read or concentrate at all. She writes to Celestia about what she's learned. If a letter didn't show, she'd be concerned. She's the brains of the team. Follow her strict regime. If things don't go as planned, she'll overreact. Under stress, she can't work, and she's kind of a jerk. If she can't understand, she'll burst into flames. Back when she was just a foal, learning magic was her only goal. Try as she might, just wasn't right, and that magic took its toll. But thanks to a sonic rain boom that shook up the whole testing room, she got a lift and found her gift a great magic cutie mark. She helps every single filly when they're off task and silly. Solver of crime, traveler of time, making checklists in her sleep. Her job as an organizer is actually fun for her. Much better than way back when in Canterlot Kindergarten. A pony that is prompt and on time, there's no doubt. Whenever a deadline's missed, it freaks her out. Jumping to conclusions that are usually wrong. She gets even crazier than Terra Strong. Even if she sat him down, she will not get pushed around. Make a threat to her friends, she will buck you up. Her power is not a trick, element of magic. Together, in the end, they can save the day. Yay! Hey, you're very good! See you next time!